great interest is in local history, regional history, mostly Kyoto, but really all of Kansai and even beyond. Uh, when I talked to him at, at dinner last night, he actually told me about Heidelberg's history. <laughs> I think in, in the four weeks that he has been here at the Ishibashi Professor, he's learned more about the history of Heidelberg than I have learned in the 40 years that I've been here. So I was really uh, surprised to learn all these new things about Heidelberg. So this is really something he does. He goes out, does field work, collects materials, and I think all the children especially. And today's presentation combines these two fundamental interests of his, namely the emperor system and children. Uh, with the title The Old Capital in Modern Times and Images of Kyoto. You all have a manuscript? Thank you for your kind introduction. Uh, thank you for inviting me to this, uh, this lecture. Uh, I'm not good at English, so uh, please uh, read Handal and a uh, PowerPoint. <laughs> okay. The old capital in modern times and the images of Kyoto. Uh, introduction. The number of tourists who visited Kyoto in fiscal uh, 2013, uh, total um, unprecedented uh, 15 million. In this talk, I would like to consider the development of tourist discourse as seen in the 2008 uh, millennium anniversary of the Tale of Genji and the Central Japan Railway Companies that's right, let's go to Kyoto. So that Kyoto Eco <laughs> campaign. Uh, please look at the figure. And the historical origins and subsequent de development of images of the old capital of Kyoto. The historical origins of images of the old capital owe much to the influence of the framework of Japanese art history and the historical divisions of Kokufu Punka and Azuchimomoyama culture that were established in the 1890s. In the modern era, the flow of Japanese history from ancient times uh, to, the, to the modern era was fashioned under the influence of Western historical narratives. In addition, beginning in the 20s, century, the Kyoto area came to construct a local culture identity that depended especially on the classical literature and painting of the Heian period, as well as the sumptuous wall and interior paintings. The number art and the limpa school arts and crafts from the Azuchi Momoyama to the Kanye era. Similarly, Nara came to identify sources of national pride in the ancient period with the Asuka and temple cultures, while regional castle towns found similar value in the era of domain founder with castle dungeons as regional landmarks. As a concept of art was being established in the modern era, even objects uh, such as Buddhist statues and places such as temples, shrines, and ancient capital of Kyoto were deemed to have artistic value and the variety of narratives from the pre-modern era were demythologized and transformed into cultural properties. For example, Kyowa Rame, a 17th century guidebook to local sites, was illustrated with a picture of Miedo Hall, which had been established in the Muromachi period as a site to worship Kobo Dachi, the founder of Shingon Buddhism. Uh, this. 
uh, in the 1890s, however, the Kodo Hall, which housed a group of esoteric Buddha from the Oriental Church, became the center of torch. This, uh, moreover, an overarching friend of the modern period was that the capital of Tokyo, with its concentration of powerful temples and shrines and its myriad of legends, and there was itself the mythologized, mythologized. And in 1994, the city itself was uh, designated as a world heritage site and uh, the main historic monuments of ancient Kyoto. At the same time, other narratives were newly selected and created in the modern era. For example, the feminine images associated with classical literature was promoted and the images of places like Sagano, this and Uji were transformed from the male to female gender. To take cherry blossoms as an example of the feminization of Kyoto, it was originally not with the Soma Yoshino cherry trees, uh, Soma Yoshino, Oh. Um, which uh, originated in the village of Somei on the outskirts of Tokyo at the end of the Edo period that was valued by some more traditional varieties such as weeping and wild cherry trees. Each type of tree was also adorned with its own story of legend. The wild cherry trees were Emperor Kameyama moved from Yoshino to Arashiyama. The Sagyo cherry trees at Horin Temple, which were mentioned in a poem by Sagyo, and the Mikurumagaeshi cherry trees, uh, Miyagosho, uh, uh, which looked so beautiful as they bloomed profusely on the other side of a wall that they inspired Emperor Gomizno to turn his carriage around. Legend has it that crimson weeping cherry trees were in origin the Konoezakura of the Fujiwara family, which were given to the dead clan in the Sengoku period. When the Heia Shrine was founded in 1895, these cherries returned to Kyoto where they were planted by the mayor of Sendai in order to convey the impression of Heia Piazza. The Somei Yoshino is a type of modern crown in which only the flower uh, blooms. Flourished in the 20th uh, uh, century and came to symbolize Tokyo and the modern era. The trees were planted alongside canals, embankments, military bases, and schools. When the flowers were scattered, they acquired a masculinity linked to sunlight. By contrast, uh, traditional varieties such as white and weeping cherry tree were used, used as motif in arts and crafts, leading them to be associated with femininity and nobility. This is indeed, indeed the work depicted in Tanizaki Junichiro's novel, uh, The Matioka uh, Sisters, Sasameji. Uh, which features uh, the Konai cherry trees at the Heian Shrine. This cherry represents the femininity of the ancient capital Kyoto, in contrast to masculinity of the imperial capital Tokyo. Uh, chapter 1. 
the main restoration and cure. In the Edo period, Kyoto was made up of two small towns, Kamigyo and Shimogyo. According to a, a provisional map, uh, please look at the last page, uh, handout, uh, figure uh, 9. Uh, made by the army in 1889, the scale of the city indicated in black remained largely the same from the uh, Shokho period to the mid Meiji period. From this, it is also clear that it was confined in dimensions approximately six kilometers from Kyoto Station, built in the south in 1877, to Kuramaguchi Dori in the north and about two kilometers east to the west from Senbondori to the uh, Kamoriba. This was a classic city uh, that Toyotomi Hideyoshi and had created. The approach Kishimetri, uh, 30,000 kok uh, of the Kinti, uh, Kindigoryo, Kindigoryo were uh, concentrated in Yamashiro province, and the imperial court maintained an organic link with regional society. For example, in the Edo period, an uh, imperial uh, missary was dispatched uh, to the Kamo Festival as the event was considered to be a court festival. The April Kama Festival assumed a place in the annual cycle of court literature. And it was also an important event uh, in the Kama Shrine's own calendar, creating a link between the two. Even the Daijosai Festival, Daijosai, which found its meaning in the emperors sharing the first fruits of rice, with God following his enthronement, had for its background the regional base of Yamashiro province. Yamashiro farmers offered their service as well as such essential as bamboo and rubber. The revocation of the capital to Tokyo in 1869 marked the beginning of Kyoto status as ancient capital, defined by the emperor's absence. In Otsuki Fumichiko, Gentai of 1889, he defines the word Miyako capital as the name of the place where the emperor is. The shift to Tokyo uh, also uh, prompted uh, separation of Buddhist and Shintoists in the imperial court in 1871. The weeping cherries in Mariama Park, a very famous uh, cherry trees, uh, were originally uh, temple trees that had grown up within the walls of Hojui a Buddhist temple attached to Yasaka Shuai. The temple was abolished, leaving a single soaring cherry in its place. Ever since the Heian period, the Buddhist Hojoya ceremony was held at Iwashimizu Hachimangu in the presence of an imperial emissary. This. Many associated temples, such as Kegonji and Gokokuji, were built on the side of Otokoyama. But in the anti-Buddhist violence of the early Miyazi era, these temples were destroyed and were regarded as homes of evil spirits. During this period, Kyoto's cultural traditions were neglected 
as is evident in the art Buddhist values. Buddhist statues and paintings from temples in Kyoto and Nara originally uh, intended, intended as objects of worship trained abroad. And in Western Museum, they were appreciated as works of art, as art. Chapter 2, uh, formulating a consti constitutional system and preserving old customs. After the separation of Buddhism and Shintoism, the role of Senyuji Temple is uh, Senyu Temple chain, uh, changed. Though it was an imperial family temple, for Emperor Shijo and successive generations of emperors in Edo period, it became an ancestral uh, temple for Emperor Koni and Kamu and other emperors who had lived in Kyoto. You are in the Heian period. There was a division of uh, roads between Nara and Kyoto, and their historical significance uh, differentiated with the former symbolizing the ancient period, and the latter devoted to the type of ancestral. ancestral Worship practiced practiced at the same age. When Emperor Meiji made an official visit to Kyoto in 1877, he toured facilities that symbolize the modern era and civilization, such as Kyoto Station. The commercial and industrial uh, promotion center and girls' high schools. At the same time, policies on preserving Kyoto's ancient customs were developed in the 1880s. They involved the careful construction of history and tradition in Kyoto, assistance to old temples and shrines restoration of imperial court rituals, and preservation of imperial mausoleum were of special significance. In other words, this was not only about shrines and temples, but Kyoto itself came to have its own significance as similar significance as an ancient character. This tendency uh, con constituted a 180-degree turn away from the emphasis on the civilization and enlightenment of the early Meiji period. In the background were the, the experiences of bureaucrats uh, and scholars who had visited Europe to study constitutions and other institutions of the modern state. Europe did not have a single unified culture. Countries such as Austria and Britain each had their own unique histories and cultures. In order to become a first class world power, the universal modern, uh, modern civil uh, techniques of army, constitution, national assembly, education system, regional governments, and bureaucracy alone were insufficient. The culture, mythology, historical sites, and monarchical rituals colored by each nation's history and culture were vital. Uh, Yanagi Hara Sakimitsu, uh, this person, uh, 
minister to both Russia and Austria attended a Habsburg coronation ceremony. In a Viennese church, he reported that even though gas uh, lined the streets, uh, bonfires were specially lit for a unique royal rite in that church when emperor and empress showed their compassion to the poor. This emphasis on valuing history and tradition fed into Iwakura Tomomi's paper opinion on the preservation of the imperial palace. It proposed that, as in Russia, where St. Petersburg was the present, present capital, and Moscow the former capital, so it was possible to, cons to conceive of the old capital of the world occupying a special position vis-a-vis -vis the modern imperial capital of Tokyo. Yuakura proposed the preservation of the Kyoto Imperial Palace as a central, cent, central piece, but also the restoration of all temples and shrines, the resurrection of traditional ceremonies such as the Aoi Festival, Aoi Matsuri, and the Iwashimizu Hojoe, and the uh, construction of Heian However, the Kamosai uh, Aoi Matsuri, which was revived in 1884, was uh, related to the annual ritual cycle of the imperial court which was now located in, in Tokyo. Imperial, uh, imperial envoys had lost their uh, substance, and the head priest uh, serving the shrine were, uh, shrines were appointed by the uh, Ministry of Home Affairs. From the 1890s, Imperial properties and cultural assets, such as the uh, Kyoto Imperial Gardens, the Katsura Rikyu, Shugaku Rikyu, and the uh, Shosoi, were maintained by the government. In 1883, the Kyoto branch office of the Imperial Household Ministry was established to oversee members of the nobility and high-ranking samurai families, and, and imperial mausoleums in the home provinces. Emperor Meiji, who had been living in a temporary palace uh, following the fire that destroyed the imperial palace in 1873, moved to the modern palace just before the Meiji Constitution was promulgated in 1889. The same year, Mausoleans for over 120 generations of imperial ancestors were fixed by the government, Baseke, and these Mausoleans in Kyoto and Nara became sites of imperial ancestor, ancestor worship. Cha chapter 3, Modern Japanese Nationalism. Japanese nationalist, nationalism developed as an expression of loyalty and patrioticism inseparable from the emperor system. In the 20th century, it was also bound closely to a love for one's hometown. In the promulgation right of the May Const Constitution of 1889, this thing, Emperor Meiji uh, preached an oath to his imperial ancestors. 
by grant, uh, granting amnesty at the time of the new constitution to soldiers who had fought in rebel armies during the Boshin War, Boshin Senso, of, uh, from 1868 to 1869, and in the Satsuma Rebellion of 1877, the Seinan Senso. Uh, equality among all the emperor's subjects was established, and everyone from Ice Domain retainers to Saigo Takamori and uh, those connected with the Tokugawa shogun were reinstated. Uh, Head back. In the artwork, Okakura Tenshin began a, a series of lectures in 1890 entitled The History of Japanese Art. The Imperial Museum and the Tokyo School of Fine Arts were established, and the provisional inspection of national treasures was undertaken. During this formative era of the Japanese uh, nation state, Kokufu-bunka only, only recently established in a new periodization was celebrated as the Phoenix Hall, Hoden, served as the Japanese pavilion at the Chicago World Expo in 1893. Uh, this year, uh, 15. In 1895, Kyoto goes to a festival celebrating the 1,100th anniversary of the transfer of the nation, national capital to Kyoto and to the fourth national industrial exposition. Heian Shrine was built as a symbol of the Heian period and the Jidai Matsuri uh, was uh, launched. This. Uh, Yumoto Fumiko uh, published a book called Heian Tsushi, which drew on Okakura Tenshin's art history methodologies, and Oma Seigai, who had attended Okakura's lectures on Japanese art, a penned text a titled Painting and Sculpture. Sculpture. You are in the Shino Japanese and Russo Japanese Wars. Love of hometown linked with love of country. People everywhere began to search for a local identity. And in Tokyo, in castle, uh, uh, castle towns, everywhere a culture which reinstated and took pride in the Tokugawa Bakufu and domain founders emerged. In the same context, there was a celebration of the ancient period in Nara and of aristocratic culture and the Heian period in Kyoto. In 1897, the Kyoto Imperial Museum is entrusted with artworks from the Kyoto uh, region, opened its doors. National treasures and specially protected buildings were designated under the preservation of all shrines and temples law, and the cultural properties protection administration was launched. Ultimately, however, Nara was little more than the hash of Buddhist culture that had been imported from the continent. In contrast, the late Heian period with its Kokubunka was represented both domestically and internationally as this 
society it from the continent and as pure culture. The reference was to the development of the Kana Shirabariti, Shirabariti, Shibariti, elegant worker poetry, pure land Buddhist. Gage Monatari and Yamato painting, Okakura Tenshin and Naito Kona, had argued that only a nation that had experienced the flourishing of culture, like the Kokfu Bunka or that of the Azuchi Momoyama period, might be recognized as possessing a unique culture or a historical system in global terms. Nowadays, of course, the late Heian period is seen as a culmination of a process of absorption of culture from the continent, beginning with a rich bureau system of centralized government that had existed since ancient times. In this way, it is clear that our image of a given period changes with the times. At the turn of the 20th century, around the time of the Sino-Japanese and Russo-Japanese wars, a standardized national language and art history were for formulated. No and Kabuki were uh, designated it as traditional forms of culture. Small or small was deemed the national sport. And martial arts began to uh, flourish. Japanese culture took shape in a gradual process of uh, discovery and uh, definition as the cherry blossom became the uh, national flower. And Kimigayo and Hinomaru were uh, inst institutionalized as Japan's uh, national anthem and flag. It was understood that Japan's unique culture was something which uh, relativized uh, the West, West universal belief in material culture and scientific progress. Valued spirituality merged with nature and was protected by the imperial household. Okakura Tenshin stressed that unlike the realities in Italian painting, the emphasis on spirituality in Heian period painting was indicative of Japanese culture as a whole. As a whole. Those attempts to differentiate Japanese culture from Western or Chinese culture and establish it as something unique continue to the present day. Chapter 4, The Age of Empire. In 1898, the special exhibition of the Imperial Museum Club began with commemoration of the 300th anniversary of the death of Toyota Hideyoshi. After the Russo-Japanese War, social reform and assimilation became a policy issue. In 1910, promoted by Japan's annexation of the Korean Peninsula. Celebration of the Azuchi Momoyan period began in earnest. Aspects of the period, such as Namban Bunka, overseas trade, 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 and Toyotomi Hideyoshi 
Bonnock-Piariat in Pechon of Korea were identified with ongoing imperial expansionism. A summer seminar series held both in Shiga by the Association of Historical Gra uh, uh, Geographer uh, in 1911 focused on the theme, theme of the Azuchimomoyama period. And in 1920, such uh, Christian relics as portrait of France uh, Xavier uh, this were found in the mountains of Ibaraki in Osaka. Again, with regard to arts and crafts in the Taisho period, Fukui Rikichiro uh, saw uh, commonalities between the Momoyama Azuchi period and the Western European Renaissance and detected a uh, resurgence of Yamato painting in the ornamentation of the Momoyama painting, Kazari, as a development of the theory, much uh, favored uh, after the Sino Japanese and Russo Japanese wars. That the calling school was the most uh, representative branch of Japanese art. Fukui argued that Ogata calling was genius. Uh, nurtured in the cultural environment of Kyoto. All this fell into Kyoto theories that endure today. Stated most clearly by Hayashiya Tatsadro, uh, they held that the lost relics of the imperial age were effecti effectively recovered by the Azuchibomema legacy. In 1912, the so-called three large projects uh, designed, designed to improve urban infrastructure were completed in Kyoto and uh, San Dajio. Uh, and in 1915, the instrument ceremony for Emperor Taisho was held on the outskirts of the city of Kyoto as it was undergoing further development. Christian graves were discovered the uh, west side of uh, Kyoto city. Here, uh, here is. In, in Kamaboko Gata, <laughs> in 1919, in connection with the an uh, argument of the historical sites, uh, places of scenic beauty, and natural monuments law, the, the issue of cultural assets became linked to empire. In 1916, one step ahead of developments in the main island of Japan, the preservation of ancient sites and artifacts, artifacts uh, regressions were impl uh, implemented in COVID. In imperial Japan, the ancient Korean capital of Gyeongju was uh, identified with Nara. Uh, the flourishing of Kyoto tourism came along with the development in mass society after the great Kanto earthquake in 1923. Then, on the occasion of the instrument of Emperor Showa, the Kyoto City Tourist Board uh, and International Tourist Bureau, JTB, were established. The following year, 1931, the city of Kushimi merged with Kyoto to create what still uh, constitutes Great Kyoto, Da Kyoto Shi. In 1928, the year Emperor Showa assumed the throne, uh, jurisdiction over historical sites 
places of scenic beauty. And natural monuments was transferred from the Ministry of Home Affairs to the Ministry of Education, uh, from Nansho to uh, Momusho. Celebra uh, celebration of the main distribution began now in earnest. For example, the Kyoto City uh, Board of Education, uh, Kyoto City Kyoiku Kai, erected uh, monuments of the site of Sakamoto Ryoma assassination and of Ikedaya incident, this Sanjo Dori or Karamachi Dori. Uh, this was the origin of today's Meiji restoration, restoration book, uh, Bakumatsu Shin Kensho. In addition, uh, the Gyoji Temple in Sagano uh, uh, restored in 1902. The Takiguchi Dera Temple constructed in the early Showa period. And Koto, Koto Kikibashi uh, were identified as sites where visitors could revive the world of uh, literary, literary classics such as Heike Monogatari and uh, Genji Monogatari. Uji was transformed from uh, uh, masculine site, uh, ex exemplified by the uh, bridge battles and Yorimasa, Yoris, Yorimasa's tragic end in Heike Monogatari into a feminine site associated with the Gage Monogatari. This was in part related to the glorification of aristocratic culture, as well as the uh, feminization of famous places in Kyoto. Thus, school parties of excursions, Shugakuroko from the 1920s came to visit famous sites whose images were enhanced by their appearance in classical literature. These visits came to shape young people's views of history. Now I come to the conclusion. As we have seen, multiple images were laid upon the ancient capital of Kyoto, that of Kokufu Bunka during the development of Japan as a nation state. That of Azushimomoyama and Kanye culture during the imperial year, Keikoku and that of the Meiji restoration during, during the early Showa period. Throughout the modern era, the old capital Kyoto acquired a femininity that contrasted with the masculinity of the imperial capital of Tokyo. Thank you. example of uh, the kind of cultural history that's relevant both for political history and for art history. And um, if you have read uh, some of Takagi Sensei's articles and books, you'll know that he's just scratched the surface today. And for all his points, he has a plethora of evidence in, in his writings. It's really unbelievable how, how deeply he goes and what kinds of material he draws on for making his points. So this is just really scratching the surface. Please look at his publications. 
Um, now, I want to follow um, Harald's example of comparing Kyoto to Heidelberg in the beginning. Um, I was shocked to read that well, there was 50 million tourists a year in Kyoto. You know, those of us living and working in Heidelberg are always pestered by the tourists running around here. But it's only 3.5 million a year. I looked it up. <laughs> so imagine 15 times as many, it would just be terrible. So I guess we can be lucky that we're not in Kyoto. Um, anyway, I had prepared a number of questions. I'll just raise two because we probably have to sort of uh, translate in between, and I really want to feel questions from the audience. So I propose that I just uh, take those two questions each, uh, ask them in English, do a, a brief translation, and give uh, Takagi Sensei a chance to um, reply. So, um, throughout your manuscript, you uh, use the, the categories of masculinity and femininity, and I couldn't resist, given how many people interested in gender are in, in the audience, um, to ask you about that. So, are those your categories of analysis, or are they? categories that the historical actors use themselves. And if it's the latter, then I guess it's not much of a problem. But if it's the former, I think it's quite problematic. And you probably have to explain a bit more, because they're not obviously not self-evident categories the way you, you use them. カテゴリーですかっていうのは、マスクリーとフェミニティ、カテゴリーですかっていうのは、その、え、カテゴリーは、あの、先生の判断に基づいた、あの、分、分析上のカテゴリーであるか、それとも、あの、当時、明治時代
一方であるとですね。で、あるいは。はい。<笑> so, um, he says that、uh, actually it might have really already existed during the Meiji period.、Mm-hmm. And one example is the, are the two photographs taken of the Meiji Emperor. Well, one is actually a painting,、um, but it's a photograph of a painting.、Um, and the earlier one is a photograph that shows him in a rather feminine looking aristocratic art. And the second one is the photograph of a painting by Kyosone,、uh, which shows him in military art, right? And that really. Uh, exemplifies the, the change <laughs> from. Well, no, no, that's, that's <laughs> the second one. That's the masculinity one.、Yeah. The feminine one is, is where he really looks like a feeble、uh, teenager in, with that huge hat.、Right? Yes. So, yeah. Okay, so that's an example of the, of the switch. <laughs> 当時の女性性の、あの、今思い出しましたけど、資料で言えば、例えば、あの、平安時代の後期っていうものを、ひと高く言うときに、遊戯であるということが多いんですね。それから、その、えー、遊戯ということを、あの、それは、えー、1890年代にすでに言われる。うん、大すでに言われる。それから、えー、それこそ、あの、えっ、ー、と、えー、先生がすでに源氏物語でされたように昭和期にはこれが「みやび」という言葉で言われるわけですねでそれは女性的なことのプラスの評価として貴族性の中で言われるわけですねでえっ、ー、と,、えー、とここで、まあ、例えば重要なのはあの日本全体としてはその侍文化の軍隊の、えー、と男性性というのが、えー、プラス侍文化の男性性っていうのは近代国家の中でプラスになるわけですけれども、京都に関しては侍とか言われないんですね。で、それは例えば、平等院、この間も、あの、コロンビアのマッシュー先生の、今ありますけれども、平等院っていうのは侍の場だった。男性性の、平和の中に。それが優美な貴族文化、現状の中にの世界に伝達するんですね。Okay, so, so in,、uh, he quoted a,、um, a material from, or, the, or a document from 1890s where actually the Kukubunka or the late s t a y a n period is described as yubi or as elegance,、um, which he associates with femininity. And then Gen- the Genji Monogatari、um, is、uh, in the Showa period, early Showa period, also referred to as miyabi. So, Miyagi is kind of difficult to translate into its own elegance again, and portliness, right? And that, of course, is also associated with、uh, femininity. Um, and then,、uh, even though、um, the samurai are celebrated as being the, the,、uh, the epitome of masculinity, this is something that is not associated with Kyoto, but rather with Tokyo. Most of the time, the Kindai Kokka and the Dance Se, Toka Gunji, the one who 世界の近代国家の共通性だとですね。あの、えー、ゲルマニアもそうだと思いますけれども、あの、えっ、ー、と、あの、その女性が男性化する問題なんかもそうだと思うんですけど、戦うとか、そういう男性的なものっていうものも、その、えっ、ー、と、近代国家がその男性的になっていくっていうのは、割に普遍的なことだと思うんですね。ちょっとゲルマニアは適当じゃなかったかもしれません。So he, says, he says that generally speaking, in nation states,、um, or when nation states are created, the ideal of masculinity is rampant everywhere, not, not just in Germany. But, in that case, the Japan is a common culture, 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 the Japan is a common culture. で後には、えー、ミヤギ、えー、そういうものを、えー、ヨーロッパにはない独自の価値としてフェ、えー、ミニティとして出す。So, within this um, uh, covering uh, of, of kind of the nation, modern nation state masculinity that's really、um, everywhere,、um, in Japan they look for something very particularly Japanese and therefore associated in Kyoto、um, the femininity. So, something that doesn't exist anywhere else,、uh, by contrast.、Really. Okay, 
から始まってんじゃないですか、それをちょっと、ちょっと聞きたかったんですけど、はい、その連想は一応、あの女性性の,あの、うん、カモノマウチの歌をやめるっていうのは、うん、カモノマウチの場合はもちろんあれ、ね、ネガティブな意味を持ってるんですけれども、うん、それが今度は、ここがこの中では、それに、うん、あの絶対にネガティブなものじゃなくて、と、うん、いうのを、この恋愛をしますと、やっぱりちょっとこういう、相対性があるができるんですよね。はいはいはい、だから、一応、京都と、京都じゃなく山城と、うんうんタオヤムブリは、うん、あのやっぱり1760年,年代からの、うんはい、あのこういう連想、はい、連想されてるから、はい、それそれが別にあの明治時代に入って新しいじゃないと思うんですよ。はいはい、そ,その価値価値は、うん、それも多分あのあのモスト先生の記事で、うん、あの私が初めて詳しく読んだんですけれども、うん、その価値観が今度変わる。うん、メネシタが今度メネシタというか、うん、あの、ね、女性性がやっぱりあの先生がおっしゃったように、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、あの、はい、
それが近代になってやっぱり、えー、近代化の中で時間の流れの中で、えー、平安時代になりますこれはやっぱりフェノロスや天使以降の問題だったんですね。がおっしゃったことと同じだったので、それは省略しますけれども、あの、えー、っと、にやみという言葉を、まあちょっと女性性という言葉と、はいはい、あの、重ねておられたように思うんですが、まあにやみという言葉は、原理的に言うと、まああの、都的っていう、都のようだという意味ですよね。で、それはつまり貴族的であり、まあみやみの都はつまり皇族っていう意味ですよね。だから、あのそこにその女性性というふうにあのにわかにこう結びつけていいのかというと「みやみ」という言葉の反対は多分「さとび」だと思うんですつまり「みやみ」という言葉にはあの、まあ、そういう,こう柔らかいイメージもあるけれども、まあ、ちょっとあの見,見下しているというかですねあのつまり東京に対する京都というのはそういうこう優越意識っていうのがあって「みやみ」という言葉はつまり「他の,あの,他のところでいくらみやびの真似をしても真似できない、はい、そこが京都だと言ってですねそういうあの認識があるんではないかというのがすみませんオンリージャパニーズで Femininity because uh, uh, Miyabi uh, refers to the capital, it, it uh, refers to aristocratic culture and not uh, to women in the first uh, place. So,、uh, what would be the opposite of Miyabi? It might be Satobi.、Uh, Miya is, is the capital, and Sato、uh, would be the、uh, village,、uh, countryside, things like that. So,、uh, the, the question is that、uh, Jose say、um, femininity always、uh, carries something. Something soft,、uh, and it's,、um, I don't know the English word, n i k u d a s to do. So it's looking down. t h e y r e looking, t h e r e something like looking down on,、uh, of course, especially in the feudal、uh, context. So,、uh, what it's,、um, what it's okay to, to connect is to Miyabi and、uh, Jose say in the first place. And, and, and Kyoto's、uh, Miyabi is the thing that everybody tries to. Uh, to copy and、uh, to emulate, but、uh, which you never can emulate、uh, perfectly. So, this, this is the meaning of the young people. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. 本来の江戸時代の都の使い方はそうだったんですよね。例えば、でも、えっ、ー、と、もしと先生されたような昭和から今日の宮城ってそうですかじゃあ、かどうかということですね。あの、昭和期に宮城って、だから江戸時代の本来の宮城の使い方と、昭和期の大衆社会状況で使われ出した宮城っていうことはもっと俗っぽい、あの、そ,あのその女性と非常に関わった宮城ということじゃないかな。まだ違うと思うんですね、本来の。それから1890年代の優美っていうのはやはりその優美っていうものにあの、えー、と貴族性っていうことを重ねて、うんえー、やっぱり天使は、えーえー、奈良は、えー、彫刻で中国からのまねに過ぎないけれども、えー、平安後期の平等院とかそういうものは。えー芸能のあたりやその、えーえー、貴族性と優美ということを重ねる使い方をしていると思うんですね。で、あのそのことがちょっと、そあ、さっき言ってた。あ、そう。regarding みやび、yes、that's true but it's only true for the Edo period and the And the use of Miyabi from the 1920s on to today is different. It's become sort of vulgarized and it's really become conflated with, with femininity.、Uh, 
Uh, it's not this this old uh, element concept any longer. Um, it, as uh, much for the 1890s, uh, this UV concept was really identified with the aristocracy, for example, uh, about Nada period um, sculpture. People said that, well, this was imported from China, but it's really lacking this kind of specific Japanese elegance, this UV, which really only came in, in, the, in the Heian period and is then uh, associated with the court aristocracy. さっき言わせたとこ思い出しましたので、だからあのそういう貴族の国語文化のえ女性性というものが近代で全く作られたわけではなくて、おしゃべりにその江戸時代の国学のようなそういう源泉をあの受け継ぐものと新たに作り出され
あと時代祭りが1895年に新しくできるわけですけれどもその時の一つの特徴として平安時代以来の時代があるわけですけれども室町時代の行列はないというんですね、うん、でそれはやはりその京都の一つの特徴を示すので So,、uh, very interestingly, so the, the Festival of the Ages had, had、um, sections、uh, for each period in Japanese history, but the Muromachi period didn't exist.、Um, okay, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Arigatou gozaimashita. Same, same, same. Oh, sorry, yes.、Um, Arigatou gozaimashita. Just a bit more just a book. ジェンダーの、ことをかけてもらいや、先生とか発表でジェンダー以外の、大変もう、なんかその、聞きたいところありますけども、ちょっとジェンダーに戻ると、江戸時代で、もちろんその、おっしゃった、あの、カモノマビチとか、でももっと一般的に、あの、例えばその、妊娠する女を、もの、部屋物語を読ませると、女の子が生まれちゃうから困るとか、それよりちょっとあるんですよ、その話。例えば、あの、江戸から京都に行く人が、なんで京都で女が多いなんでかっていうと、女性が京都にいれば自動的に女の子が生まれるんです。で、江戸だったら男性なんて、本当にそういう話があるんですよ、江戸時代にも。で、でももう一つのことが。Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. So, um, in the Edo period already we heard that, um, There were scholarly interpretations of、uh, Heian as being feminist in a, feminine in a negative sense. But I said also in popular consciousness, it was firmly believed that when women were pregnant, if they read Heian stories, they would give birth to a girl child. And this was not what you wanted at all, so they should instead be reading military stories. And the women in Kyoto had a tendency to give birth to girls, whereas women in Edo had a tendency to give birth to boys. And this was certainly believed. I mean, I don't know whether. Real doctors said it、uh, in medical treatises, but it was said on a, on a popular level. And the other thing, Moshe Tatsubano, in the Edo Jidai, there are ten show dicing, and I made it out of the door, I'm not going to be a man. So, 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 my other point was the goddess that we probably all know of, Amaterasu, in the Edo period, mostly considered a male god called Tensho. And in the Muromachi period, too. Was feminine. No, no, no. No, I mean, throughout most of history, I think, regardless of male god. Good job. Yes, God. Oh, sorry. Eh, to, I know, Sakimoto, Koku Gaku, Kaga, no, so you. えー、貴族制の連続の話があったと思うんですけども他にも多分町が持つ京都の町の江戸時代での女性性の問題もあると思うんですねあのそれは例えば私たちが言っていただいたらいいと思いますけど例えば横浜写真であの非常に舞い声上げ舞い子の写真を京都が多いっていうことがありましたけど言われましたけど秋田先生が指摘されてますけど例えば京都っていうのはこれはあまり知られてないことですけれどもえー、1950年代、江戸時代から1950年代、京都観光っていうのは何をする場所かっていうと、売春をする場所です。で、男が中心に、えー、社寺参りをして、で、えー、祇園や宮川町や島原や、えー、五番町、上地県などの、えー、たくさんある加賀で売春をするっていう、そういう場所なんですね。だから、それは江戸時代から1950年前までの京都です。だから今も全然そういう、あの、リアルの京都と違うわけですけれども、<笑>えっと、そ、そこに出てくるその、えっと、えっと、マイクや芸妓の問題っていう、加害の問題っていうのは一つの、江戸時代から、あの、また近代とは違いますけど、連続する問題があると思いますね。Uh, so I'm Agreed with what I said that in the Edo period there are indeed these feminizations of Kyoto. And he also made the other interesting point that from Edo period right through to the 1950s, a large number of visitors to Kyoto were men. And what did they do when they went there? They went and met the girls. <laughs> so, of course, they, they, they went to the temple, to the they temple. Went to the temple. <laughs> right? Sorry, I'm not going to go with that s e And then they go to the prostitution areas.、Um, so, indeed, it was an encounter with women going to. Going to Kyoto for many men. Presumably, if they're going to the Vaishnya for girls, some of them probably went to find the Wakachu somewhere around the corner as well. <laughs> 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 Sorry.
っと開けとくだけなんですけれども、一応あの、あの、明治の京都というのは、結局、天皇が不在になったっていうことですよね。それで、まあ、あの、先ほど大月文彦の定義もあったように、都というのは天皇がいる場所である。その天皇がいる,いるっていう根拠が、まあ、なくなったと。明治以降、そういうところじゃなくなったということと、その、京都の明治経営者っていうのとが関わってるんでしょうか。そのことをちょっと。はい。はい、あ、英語。<笑> Uh, so, t a k u i sensei has said、uh, the Tenno disappeared from、uh, Kyoto in the Meiji period, and、uh, the question is now uh, whether uh, the disappearance of the Tenno、uh, from Kyoto, which,、um, I mean, the Tenno was、uh, constituted for, for Miyako, and when he disappears,、uh, whether、uh, his disappearance and uh, this uh, change in the image of Kyoto are somehow interconnected. Hello. 都市が文化や観光で売り出すというのはその都市の危機の時だったんですねで京都で言えば17世紀に経済的に京都が中心だったものが大阪に米市場ができて移った時に17世紀の後半から18世紀に非常に京都観光で京菓子とか京センスとか京物京ブランド経済的にダメになった時にあの江戸時代の、えー、前期に売り出すようですねブランド化するでやはり京都もその東京銭湯でそれから経済的にこう天皇がいなくなってダメになった時で、えー、天皇が帝都東京で、えー、京都が、えーえー、オールドキャピタルの時に、その、観光や、えー、文化っていうものでですね、えー、都市を再生させようという、そういうことが、あの、あると思います。Already in, in,、uh, at the end of the 17th century,、uh, uh, we have the, the tendency that、um, objects from Kyoto, like Kyogashi, like、um, uh, sweets, sweets from、uh, Kyoto or Kyosen,、uh, Fans from、uh, Kyoto become brand, brand <laughs> objects, brand、uh, marks.、Um, and、uh, it seems to be a parallel、uh, phenomenon、uh, in the major period when, when、uh, the Tenno vanishes from Kyoto,、uh, there, there's such a, a branding of,、uh, of Kyoto products and uh, Kyoto uh, objects uh, to, I don't know, for, for economic、uh, reasons. Yeah. Social reasons. Yeah. もちろん行政制限についてつもりがあるんだけど、今、その質問してないんですが、帝国主義と安土桃山をもう少しなんか知りたいんですけど、一つの問題は、遺留士が負けたか、韓国とか、そういう。いい例になるかどうか、安土桃山はどうやって、はい、なんか想像しましたか、明治時代で。はい。Basically, since we talked about all kinds of other issues, I was interested to go back into the issue of imperialism of the Meiji period. And one of the things that is mentioned in the paper that the a z u c h i m o m o y a m a period was also commemorated for its international outlook, but also in relation to Korea. And my question is, is that really a period to remember, after all, Hideyoshi went to Korea twice. Once it was kind of, he pulled out, and the second time, it was not really a victory. So how could you imagine that as a good imperial precedent for imperialism? It's about 1910. からですね、あの特にアズチモモヤマの検証が始まります。で、そこはまあいろんなえっと方向性があるんですけれども、千九百十年代はあの京都府で文化財保護か文化財保護が、えー、京都府だけでなく全国の府県で文化財保護が出てくるときですけど、その最初に指摘指定していくのがジュラクダイであるとかミミズカであるとか。秀吉関係のそれは日韓併合の直後ですね。で、それはだから過去の、えー、っと人心和乱の秀吉の侵略とをあの日韓併合後の、えー、っと日本を重ね
、それは同時に朝鮮半島では、えー、秀吉関係の和女が、えー、と指摘あの、総督によって、えー、指定されている、あのえー、南大門が、えー、と指定されたりしますけれども。まあ、そういういことがありますそれから比率市ではやはり1910年代にあの、えー、と福井、えーえー、力士郎がその安土桃山の比率についてこれは玉虫敏子さんがされてますけれどもあの非常にあのさ,れされていく、えー、とあるいは、えー、と京都大学の新村譲りや浜田耕作たちが、えー、切りした南蛮比率の検証する。いろんな要素があるんですけれども、1910年代に一戦に始まるということですね。それはやはりその帝国の時代にいろんな動機があると思うんですけど。はい。Well, basically the commemoration was especially strong after the annexation of Korea in the 1910s,、um, and there were several elements of it. One is the elements of the bunkazai, you know the Um, ceremonies that were having, and there was an artist、um, element. There were also things that were happening at Kyoto University. So, this is a, the high days of that resurrection of Azuchi Momoyama culture,、um, and not what I had originally expected that it would be preceding to the annexation as a justification for、um, that period. So, it's commemoration of after the fact event of、um, integration that was really happening. Maybe in addition to that, you mentioned that the first cultural properties that were registered in Kyoto were actually directly related to Kiriyoshi's invasions to Korea and that was sort of I mean,、uh, consciously right, connected to the, just to the accession that had just happened, sort of to stress sort of Japanese、uh, premier position within East Asia, also historically. もう一度ございましたんですけど、えー、日本があまりずっとやっていないので、My Japanese is very good, so I'm proceeding in English.、Um, I have a question about borrowing and、uh, historical um, um, comparison.、Um, you, you mentioned Fukui r i k i c h i r o And、um, compare,、uh, trying to find similarities between、uh, the Western Renaissance and a n z u c h i m o y a m a and personally, I find、um, historical comparison between Europe and Japan a tool that is a bit orally used. I'm, I'm wondering about your opinion. When do you think this trend of trying to find similarities specifically between the Western Europe and Japan started?、Um, is it something that started more by Western or Japanese culture? And do you think it is something that is more related to、um, uh, historical determinism or something that is more related to、um, finding assurance or leg legitimacy、uh, for Japan or some other reason? <laughs> ご旅館がいつから始まったか、それとも役説として、あの西洋の歴史学か日本の歴史学で始まったか、そしてその目的はどうでしょうかっていう、そういう、まあ、どういうふうに目的はどうでしょうか。ああ、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ヨーロッパとの関係で、例えばそれは、あの、天使の時代からもあると思うんですけども、その時代区分を作っていくときでも、ヨーロッパの、あの、ロマンスクやゴシックや、そういう時代区分というもの、との対比で、日本のアスカや、あの、天平や国風というものを作っていくということはあると思います。で、えー、ただ、あの、その、僕、So, so he says that, that that idea of applying um, uh, European uh, periodizations um, onto Japanese periodization already begins with、uh, Okakura Tenshi in the 1890s. Not directly, but in, in the background, he has these,、um, um, these terms in mind when he creates the, his own. まあ、それ、他にも、あの、明治時代に、自由民権の時代には、フランス革命の問題とかとの比較で、あの、あると思いますけれども、まあ、ここは、福井力一郎に関わって言えば、言えば
あの多分その今あの、えー、とルネサンあの日本のルネサンスっていうのは欧米で結構流行ってると思うんですけれどもそういうその問題は実は福井が行ってで林田達太郎が行ってるあのだから近代のヨーロッパの,その文化的な近代の始まりということの、えー、文法をですね日本の中で見つけるときにその、えーとえー、桃山のルネサンスということを、えー、アナログとして持ってきてるといことですね。はい so when they try to どこれで最後は、あそこに書いてあります。<音声><音声><音声><音声> Just to add,、uh, Fukui, who was a professor at Tokyo, Tohoku Imperial University in, in Sendai uh, and uh, established art history there,、uh, was actually from Kyoto and graduated from Kyoto Imperial University. And this is probably a reason why he brought the Mongyama period into、uh, his scheme so conspicuously. So, Melanie ran out of the room. I'm not quite sure what that means. She said that was the last one.、Sorry. お話の中でも作れたと思うんですけれども、あの以前あのあの聞いてきた話の中でもあの触れてると思うんですけど、その明治天皇の肖像がもう非常にこう男らしい肖像が,ができるんですけれども、それをウィルヘルム一世あの、ドイツ皇帝とクルあの,の肖像と比べると、もう非常に似てると思うんですけれども、あれ、あのこれちょっとお見せします、ね。これは完全のパクリなんですか<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> um, so the, the image of, of, of the Meiji Emperor looking very masculine is, is, is resembles very, very closely. The, even the awards. Look the same as Wilhelm the First. And I'm wondering, my question is is this just 
Just oh. copy. Did they just copy his costume? John they, Green John. has worked on that. Yeah, uh, last yeah, year, you should have been at the Mitsubishi right. conference. <laughs> it's the Italian who did it. Uh, oh. Yes, so well the, well, the King of Italy was wearing at the time of the, the new, brand new King of Italy, right? All the, all, all the monarchs look like that. I see. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the answer is... It was they give each other medals so that they can... <laughs> <Yeah. have it. laughs> yeah. 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 The Order of the Garden. Yeah. 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 So on that wonderful note... Yeah, yeah, あ、他、そうですね。あの、今日は近代に作られた京都のイメージっていうこう作られたのが非常に強調しましたけれども、やはりその議論の中で出てきましたように江戸時代の何を引き継いで、で、新たにこう再構成していくか、そういう連続的連